Um, first of all, it's not that easy. I've been. I tried every day to be in a breakaway. Uh, today finally worked. It was a good group. Uh, we work very well together. And then in the end, I felt quite strong. So 5k to go. I um, I go alone. Um, I see I have a quite big gap, so I think uh, I can go for the victory. I know from the book that the last corner is uh, 180 degrees, so I go easy, but my front wheel slips and I crash. Try to jump, stay calm, uh, jump on the bike, but my chain was off, so uh, off the bike, put the chain on, on the bike, I look behind and I see the remaining guys of the group. 20, 30 meters behind me. So uh, I'm a track rider. I know uh, what it is to ride uh, one kilometer with a standing start. So that's what I did, as hard and as fast as possible to the finish. And then I saw the peloton sprint coming very, very quick to me, and uh, I made it with I don't know five meters, just enough to win. Very, very happy with that. Looking for a win quite some times. Uh, some time. What does this mean to you? This, this, this winning an international race live on television, blah blah blah. Yeah, this one is very special. Um, I've been through quite hard times, all kind of circumstance. Um, first of all, I have to say, very happy that uh, it was very close to get no contract last year in the end for uh, for this team. Uh, they gave me the trust I could sign for another year and I'm very happy to give them uh, this victory. Um, what it means to me, it's, um, <clears throat> I think it's the end of a very bad part of my life. Let's say it like that. We are dedicated to this super victory. For who is for who? dedicated to this super victory? First of all, uh, my son is at home. He's only uh, 17 months, but he's sick today. He has a, I don't know how you say in English, wind pocket. But my girlfriend, she called me this morning that the baby woke up with all kind of things on his face and that she had to stay home all day. Um, so I said, okay, I'll do my best to be in the breakaway so you can see me on TV. Uh, so I dedicate my victory to my sick little boy <laughs> and my <laughs> girlfriend that is watching him. So when you, when you were on the tarmac, did you think for a minute how luck is here again or did you? <clears throat> Actually, I didn't really think about a, mo a lot. Uh, I didn't know my advantage. I just saw that when I was on my bike again, nobody passed me. So it was still possible. Um, but of course, when you crash, being alone in the last kilometer, you don't think, uh, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> you think, uh, not again, not again, bad luck, but okay. <laughs> Today I was lucky also. <laughs> you won't race the, you will not race the Tour of Italy. Are you sad, disappointed, or it's okay? In the beginning of the season, the Giro was not on my program. Um, but the classics also were not on my program. I did almost all classics, went good, and then the team started to talk about uh, the Giro. It would be my first big tour. Um, so, of course, I would, would have been happy to do it because I think when you come out of a big tour, you're a better rider. But um, I'm not in the team. The team has been going very, very strong this year. So the nine guys that will be in the Giro for our team, I think are the best guys at the moment to do that. And for me, um, I keep on working and I hope maybe I can do the Vuelta or um, maybe next year Giro d'Italia. You're a very successful track rider as well and you're obviously able to balance both. Can you talk about how you structure your season not to be tired by the time the road season comes? And also, will you continue to ride track the same amount in the future, or will you focus more on your road career? Um, I made a choice in that. I did uh, all six days this winter. Uh, I was, um, I'm European champion. 
I made the decision not to go to the World Championships in Australia, to concentrate more on the road. And I'm very happy that I did that because I could do the classics. Uh, I'm here in good condition. Uh, I think for the past it is possible to combine six days track racing with a road program. A full track season and a full road, road, road season, that's difficult, but if you look a little bit, you can actually combine it quite good. And uh, for me, I love the track. I will never stop racing on the track. Uh, I like the road a lot. I think I'm, I'm 29, so my years for the road are, are now there. So um, actually, the good part is you can do the road season when you come in, in the end of the road season, August, September, start to be a little bit tired of all rainy races, windy races, you go to the track and it's like start over again. When you're sick of the track, you can go back to the road. So like that you can continue for a long time. Maybe the boiler will be your first greatest uh, round stage, but you know that you have 10 final climbs. Yeah, I know. Um, no, I don't say I go to the Vuelta. I say I, I would like to do a big tour, if it's possible this year. I know the Vuelta is really for climbers. It's, it's I think, one of the hardest ever. Um, so maybe the Vuelta is also not possible. That's why I say maybe next year the Giro. I don't know. But I would like to do, as a rider, I think you have to, to go to a big tour. I'm 29, I've never done it, so, um, but I'm, not, I'm still young, uh, I have many years to come, I will do a big tour in the coming years.